In this video I'm going to show you how to do a hexagon twist, which is one of the basic tessellation techniques used in origami. You need to start on a tri triangle grid and I advise you to use at least eight divisions. If you don't know how to do a triangle grid, please check one of my other videos. First locate a point on the grid and then the hexagon that surrounds this grid. It will consist of exactly six triangles that all meet in the point you located. Now make mountain folds on that hexagon. By just pinching on the grid, not creating any new creases, but just going along existing ones. All you need to do is make them into mountain folds, like so. Then make mountain folds on each of these points of the hexagon that go straight to that point, so that the third crease will enclose 120 degrees on each side, or two triangles on each side. You will have to do six of these because the hexagon has six such points. Like so. Now fold the hexagon in half along one of the creases, for example along this one. Like so. Now we're going to Look at one side, here you have a mountain fold and right next to it there's a crease and we want to make that a valley fold. So just pinch that to make it a valley fold. Then the next one, just going counterclockwise, there's again one mountain fold we prepared and again parallel to that mountain fold we're going to pinch a valley fold on the grid and do that again and again and once you're through, once you've done one whole rotation you have a couple of valley folds in place, six. Now pinch that hexagon in half again, trying to really fold it in half completely this time, so it's flat. And then go along the valley folds you prepared, this one and that one and this one. and that one and then for the last one you actually have to open the hexagon and then you see you've done a twist you've done a hexagon twist let's unfold that again and you can see how it twisted open if you want to do it a different way you can just pinch all of these and we did a twist that's clockwise. So we folded that one over, and that one over, and that one over, and that one, this one, and finally that one. And going along the creases, we tr collapsed all of this. You can see that you can't quite collapse it in the center and that's where you have to twist. So if this whole hexagon twists around, can you see that happening? Right there. Then you can actually flatten all the creases and you've got a flat model again. But I like doing it the other way 
which is folding the hexagon in half. And then the twist happens automatically just by folding open the whole structure. This makes it easier to make a very neat twist.